Hey, what's up? My name is Brandon Burnett, and I'm here to let you know. Yeah, so uh, what do I do as a profession? I'm a full-time artist. I write songs for other artists, I produce. Um, there's never really been a plan B in my future of like what I would do if I didn't do this. Every day I'm kind of just striving toward finding out what it means to be a full-time musician. You know, working with people, whether it's working with people or doing TV film stuff or playing shows. There's always, when, when you run your own business, there's always something to do. Do I think my younger self would be proud of where I'm at? Most definitely. Um, I used to have this vision when I was a kid. I used to be skating home, uh, you know, walking home from school and imagining my life, listening to my favorite artists, being that artist that I was listening to. And every day that I get a chance to wake up and do it, you know, live my dreams and have joy and being passionate about making music. I feel like I'm, I'm closer to that vision that I had when I was a kid. Um, and also, you know, I feel like when you're a kid, you, you have like, you have big expectations of where you should be in the future. And when you get older, you know, there's some expectations that you meet. There's some that you still haven't reached, but you, you come to find that, you know, every day can be successful if you're, you know, closer to where you want to be. Yeah, some advice I would give somebody who's aspiring to, you know, be an artist or get into music full time is never stop creating. My dad said one thing to me when I was growing up. I wrote my first five songs and I thought I was like, that was it. I wrote my first five songs, I expressed myself and he was like, keep writing because you're always going to go through something that you need to express yourself with. And um, the second that you feel like you've done it all or you've said it all, like shit's over. So um, as long as you just keep staying motivated to keep using music as your therapy, um, you'll you'll keep moving in the right direction. And also, um, you know, don't wait for people to do shit for you. Um, so many people don't have a manager or, or they think they need to be signed or they think they need like a PR team or they if, if only had this or that or whatever. And in reality, the only person that's gonna work the hardest for you is you. Um, no matter who's on your team, you have the vision. So yeah, just remember, you're in control of your, your future. Nothing's impossible. And if things aren't happening according to when you hope they happen, try to figure out a way to make them happen yourself. That's a great question. Um, I'm definitely proud of myself for what I've accomplished and I'm happy that I made the choice to pursue this type of lifestyle and being an artist is challenging um, and you know something I was just just saying a second ago is success is what you make it so like sometimes we have like this end goal of what we want and if you don't achieve that like that dictates how happy or proud of ourselves we are and if you could just accomplish one thing each day one thing like hey today I'm gonna write a dope ass song or, hey tomorrow I'm gonna reach out to producers and find somebody to produce my next track if you could just make headway on one thing each day you can be proud of yourself every single day and that really controls how happy you are as a person and, and as an artist and the last thing I will say about that is um, music is a great opportunity to leave something behind. So you could be you can be happy just telling your story and sharing something that you know you went through in your life, regardless of how well it does or how many people it reaches. If it's one, ten, hundred, a thousand people, a million people, um, as long as you're you know using your talents to express yourself. That, that brings so much joy and just like leaving something behind for the next person who maybe will be inspired by what you say. Um, areas where I feel like I can improve. Um, relationships are an important thing, not just with a partner or with my friendships, but 
in general, like reminding myself that um, other people are equally as important in your journey as you. And being an artist can be so self-serving and um, you self-promote all the time and you're so focused on where you're going that you forget about all the other people around you. So I feel like I could just be more aware of um, other people and their journeys growing as people. Um, another area I think I can improve is being open to collaborating. Um, I collaborate all the time. I write with so many different people. But, you know, collaboration is a very vulnerable place to be. And when you're trying to write a song or you're trying to find partners to, you know, build a certain aspect of your career, you have to let go of control in a way. Like you want to steer the ship, but you don't want to like... The best part about collaboration is that other people can add things that you wouldn't think of. And just being open to like what other perspectives there are out there. Um, that's something where I feel like you know, I've been challenging myself the last couple months, especially on just opening myself up to be vulnerable with different type of people and listen more. Oh man, that's a, dude, these questions are fire. Living with intent is simple. Um, let me think about it. When you, when you put your mind to something for a specific reason, so what motivates you? Is it success? Is it fans? Is it money? Is it fame? Is it clout? Like, there's so many different things that can be an intention behind what you do. And um, I feel like living with intent is, you know, the reason why you get up and continue to do what you do every day. One thing that I'll do today that isn't for myself. Um, connect. I think that's an important part of what I've learned in my journey. Just being present with people. Um, it's something that, you know, if you have, you know how those people that they, they talk and they talk to you and they feel like they're listening, but they're just waiting to respond with something that they have to say or like put in their own perspective into what they're telling you. And uh, when you connect with somebody truly, you, you can listen and you can learn about somebody without having to push your own agenda of what you or like feel like you have to say something just to have a conversation. Connecting isn't always a back and forth. Connecting can just be like somebody's expressing themselves to you and you're um, listening for a change. All right, if I had to give myself a compliment, I would say you're doing, you're doing great. Um, don't forget Take care of yourself and take it easy on yourself. Because when you're not good to yourself, it's because you're trying to punish yourself or something. And uh, if you could just step back and just see how other people see you, you would realize that you know you mean well. And don't be so hard on yourself. Yeah. Perfect. Not negative. <laughs> good shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was deep. That was good, right? Yeah, it was great. That was like some idea question. Yeah, right? for sure. Thank no, you. great questions.